What's up, people? Welcome back to another video. I hope you all are doing good. This is Gufran, and you're watching Indian Grad in Germany. If you're new to this channel, consider subscribing because I make podcasts with students who are studying in Germany. And this is kind of a strong medium, which is YouTube, where students from Germany they can actually give you the right feedback about the courses they are studying in. So in today's podcast, I have with me Sandeep To. If I have spelled your yeah, name yeah, correctly, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, it's right. Yeah. <laughs> so he's studying uh, in Hof University. He's studying a general management course. And I also come from a management background. So I studied at Technical University of Munich, Masters in Management. So for me uh, to talk about management courses, it is something interesting as well as unique because uh, there are many management courses around Germany. So this is one of the course that Sandipto is doing in Hof and he can walk us through what his course is about, what are the pros and cons in studying this course and many other questions. So let's start. So Sandipto, thanks for joining the podcast and we'll start with your yeah. introduction. Yeah, so uh, hey, Gufran, uh, for, first of all, thank you so much for your time and for, you know, uh, inviting me into this podcast. So I would like to thank you for for this, in, uh, for this invite. And uh, yeah, um, so if I talk about myself, I uh, am from Delhi mm -hmm. and uh, I have passed my bachelor automobile from SRM Chennai in the year 2020. So uh, then after that, uh, I I have uh, experience of three years in, in the EdTech company in the sales, mm -hmm. domain sales and after sales. Mm -hmm. So my first company was in QMath. It was, you know, it's an EdTech company based in Bangalore. At that time, it COVID <laughs> hit back. <laughs> So yeah, uh, like I was in Bangalore for, I guess, you know, for hardly three months, then I mm -hmm. was, I was asked to work from home. I worked in QQ math for, I guess, six months. Uh, mm -hmm. It was a placement from on campus. So mm -hmm. yes, uh, after that, I got an, got one job offer as a full time in, in a company called Vedantu. It's an also mm -hmm. tech company. Yeah. So I worked there in sales as well from starting from October till Feb for a short span. Then I got into Baiju. So why I worked in Baiju okay. for two years, starting from March 2021 till March 2023 for two years, mm -hmm. exact two years. So yes, uh, in Baiju as well, I I um, firstly I was hired as the sales, which we call is a pre-sales associate. Mm -hmm. It's basically the backbone of the BDA. Okay. So yeah, I worked in the pre-sales domain for I guess uh, three or four months, mm -hmm. and uh, then in July. 2021, I um, I changed my department to this customer support, which we call as user experience mm -hmm. in Baiju. Uh, so since July, worked till March 2023 in Baiju's and um, starting from, you know, October 2022, Tom came into Baiju's, uh, you know, mm -hmm. that uh, firing, that, you know, Baiju's is firing. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Employees. yeah. So after that, uh, just, uh, just the day I just uh, dropped my papers that I'm going to leave Baiju's. So just, mm -hmm. just one day ago, uh, from my team five employees got fired so i was like uh, no since i'm an engineer i have to pass my bachelor's in automobile so i should uh, do my mba in germany right because i have done my internship in audi okay uh, mm -hmm. i have uh, done my internship in a german company and also an indian company mm -hmm. so yes i was like no like by, by juice okay by juice I have got one experienced uh, in sales, but yep. it's not a company of my stream. Mm -hmm. So yes, I sh um, since I engineered from this uh, uh, SRM Chennai, I should do an MBA from such a huge country because Germany, as we all know, Germany mm -hmm. is known for yep. starts so like BMW, Merck, Audi, Porsche, Siemens, mm -hmm. all these big end companies, right? So yes, uh, I th thought I should do my MBA from here. Also, yeah. I got offer from uh, from USA, but I was like, uh -huh. that's quite expensive. Right. Germany, yeah, I mean, yeah, in, if we talk in terms of, you know, like cost, mm -hmm. Germany, uh, we, we can yeah. like... It is always cost, cost effective. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, yeah. Like, like yeah. you have now explained about your holistic experience, right, from where you started and and, and where, you, where you are right now. But then... Uh, how you selected this particular course in Hof, uh, which is general management, and uh, what was your main criteria while you selected this course? Also, like walk us through your academic profile. What were your yeah, grades, yeah. and and what what are the necessary requirements of getting into this course? This course is like for two years, okay. MBA mm -hmm. is for two years, and it's not free, okay. If you go okay. anywhere in Germany, 
any city you won't find mbas free of course okay i mean you can go right. like the uh, the least university college is, is called hfw uh, there you can find the mba uh, fees as you know is 4500 okay for the entire okay. 18 months but mm-hmm. you won't find any mba course yeah and true at free cost right? yeah mba so, any yes. course it's it's not free i have seen all mba courses are yeah, paid yeah, correct yeah, yeah so so this course is basically two years okay uh, so out of which one year um, is for this classroom program and mm-hmm. rest one year is for for internship okay six months is for this mandatory internship Uh-huh. and rest six months masters are bite you just stay in off for one year mm-hmm. rest one you just leave off and you know stay in any anywhere cause germany and also okay. it's not important that you do a, that one internship in germany it's not uh-huh. important okay you can do anywhere in the world it be india be you know us canada oh. norway okay. anywhere in terms of uh, the master are bite that you have uh, said about the next six months after the initial six months of internship so that also it is necessary to do in the company or we the students can no, do in the uh, university that, yes. that arbai so six months that's you know mm-hmm. this masters arbai that either you can do with the company or either any of the uh-huh. faculty in your okay department yes uh, we call it as a, this uh, uh, guidelines from our campus it's better mm-hmm. to do in any company because you know at the end of your internship it happens many students get absorbed if you do uh, well co- in internship, correct yeah. you can get absorbed as a full-time employee in this one year so the university help you in getting those internships or you have to find it by yourself to be honest uh, i mean it's not india okay like you yeah. you have a you know placement cell and you know they will i mean they will just help you or they will you know like spoon feed mm-hmm. you right so right. you have to just apply on your own and you know just apply like uh, i mean just apply just sit yeah. and apply yeah yeah i mean i also wanted to add up this point in this conversation that uh many students uh, coming from india many people in india they have this opinion that uh, campus placements also exist abroad but this is not true in germany you have to apply by yourself for internships for full time jobs or for any kind of small programs which are organized in the companies uh, it is you who have to take an initiative apply uh, follow the competition and follow the process so okay. no one will help you out but i mean universities do help you out in terms of creating your cv or screening your cv but when you apply it is you by yourself who apply and uh, this is also good because in this process you actually learn uh, what the process is how many applications you made if you can tell the students because this is interesting uh, students yeah. who actually well, know actually, this yeah yeah well actually Kufran, uh, since I'm in my, you know, I started my internship in the, you know, this BMW group. Uh, so <clears throat> I started uh, applying in April. Uh, so I, yeah, I mean, before that, I applied into into this, you know, this food delivery job, like you know, Volt, uh-huh. then you know, this right. uh, different all these food mm-hmm. delivery jobs. So yeah, I was like, uh, okay, uh, it's a uh, it's an odd job. I can right. but i can earn money but you know this in gonna you know uh, add any skills to my cv right yeah after two years if you show your cv to a manager right okay i mean he or she is gonna hire me for this role xyz role okay mm-hmm. and if he, she, she is gonna ask me hey uh, uh, in which role have you worked i'm like sir okay. ma'am i worked in this uh, this you okay. know who did delivery job he's like Okay. Goodbye. <laughs> Thank you so much for your time. So you know, I mean, it's better to you know. Okay, you you are doing a odd odd job. Mm-hmm. To earn money, it's okay. Cool. Yeah. But it's good to apply to a skill job because right. that gonna apply to your CV, right? Mm-hmm. And you're coming to to your point. Uh, I started applying in April. Uh, I guess April. Uh, starting I guess, mm-hmm. and then uh, I just kept 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 applying. I I had my exams starting from June, so I just you know I just took some took out some time at night or in yeah. the morning you know in the lunch break all those okay. So each day I had to shoot forty uh, applications. I mm-hmm. mean I did not see any post. I just you know close my eyes and just shoot blindly. Uh-huh. So yeah, so I just shooted like I can't say the maximum. I mean yeah. the exact. Yeah. at least i applied 500 jobs yep. out of which uh, i had got uh, 18 uh, you know 18 calls calls and mm-hmm. out of which i got only hardly two or three acceptances hardly yep. so cutting the point yeah. short uh, because we are already above the time in yeah, yeah, yeah yeah so yeah, yeah uh, what i got to know is it it takes time in the application process right, i mean right, we, right. we are coming it, from a different country 
uh, our this. experience and our uh, academic qualification sometimes may not be a strong fit of what the companies are expecting. yeah yeah i mean see example in siemens yeah. i have seen like you know uh, while i was applying mm -hmm. it was like you know you you are a strong man so i was like okay it's a yeah. strong man i'm going <laughs> to get the call but you know after that at night i was like okay unfortunately we cannot yeah take you you got the auto generated like, email yeah why 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 or not so yeah, yeah i mean uh yeah this, we, we can keep this as a separate discussion maybe for for the next podcast because uh application process or interview process it yeah, is sure. a long hurdle mm -hmm. and there are different experiences from different candidates but what i can say it, it takes time the process is a bit slow but what you learn is you you will have that self achievement once you get the job so that is more important what i feel right so now because now, you know here here people what expect you to be you know patient yeah patient is the key here exactly exactly company so, takes <laughs> hell lot of time here. hell lot of time correct yeah, yeah. So then and if so uh, we'll move with the course because uh, what we discuss right now is your course yeah, is a yeah. two year program out of which yes. one year is completely studies the second year is yeah. more on the practical experience side yeah. uh, can yeah. you guide us through uh, what the academic requirements for this course are i mean in in short like the quick highlight yeah, yeah, yeah. sure yeah. sure sure so so for this uh, you need a one experience at least and german a1 it's good okay. if you have you know some higher level german a2 b1 b2 okay okay mm -hmm. so you need to have one year uh i mean one year work experience german a1 and also early it was like either ielts so, toefl toefl Mm -hmm. Ophelia and uh, English language certificate. Of yes, yes. Right. But now it has it has gone. Okay. Okay. So now we need only either IELTS or TOEFL. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So for IELTS, you need at least of six point five, at least. Okay. Yeah. I mean, uh, also one point to add up over here in the conversation is you can uh, the audience who are watching you can also check out the recent requirements of the course on the website because. he he may tell you many things but then uh, the course requirements changes every 6 months or something so yeah right yeah. right right yeah, yeah yeah but but the major yeah. ones are like you should have then yeah. uh, for for the work experience is it mandatory to have one year yes of... uh, you need at least one year at least i mean if it's okay. good if you have more three years four years mm -hmm. so on but one year it it's i mean it's the least okay moving towards yeah. the course fees uh, how much is the fees for two years fees for two years is like around approximately it's like you know thirteen thousand okay. I mean it yeah so per uh, I mean per uh, uh per, it's thirteen uh, or thirty semester it's like uh it's uh we have to pay per semester I guess three thousand three hundred okay yeah. so you so, are talking about thirteen right one three yeah 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 one okay. three one three yeah yeah yeah. <laughs> yeah 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 okay. Yeah. yeah, I mean, but the... I would say, but I would say, you you know, the course content is actually good. I mean, uh, the have one year classroom and one year, you know, the internship. So yeah. I mean, as for the fees, it's actually good. And and what what are the subjects for for this general management program in those one year? Like uh, roughly, you can tell me. Ah, general management, project management. Ah, you know, uh -huh. we have in this uh, supply chain management with uh, procurement and risk management. Uh, management okay and, so uh, you have all modules maybe related to management like one one specific yeah, subject yeah, all, all, yeah 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 i, I mean yeah the first sem is like you, you know it's like a just a trailer of mba mm -hmm. second sem is a hardcore mba you you just study the what is exactly required in the mba okay yes. and uh, for for this course is it necessary that the candidate should have extremely high grades or he should be academically like too too much see, or mean, he should be a see, top here, ranker uh, see here in i mean germany what matters is like you know the earlier you apply the sooner you get the feedback it's not okay. it's not you know mandatory you get you know a, mm -hmm. example if you are having a, a ccp of 85% i am having a, a ccp of 88% mm -hmm. so i'll get uh, you know i'll get the offer letter and you won't know the earlier you apply the sooner you get the feedback that's what the that's what the fact matters here okay okay because mm -hmm. the application period is not like you know they have you know uh, uh, eight hundred seats okay so mm -hmm. they have seats they have the application portal open for this one month so you have to mm -hmm. apply fast so that you okay. get the offer letter because i have seen people you know are like okay i'm going to apply in the end of the month i'll get the mm -hmm. offer no yeah it's okay it's yeah. not in there okay that that you apply and then okay and the team asks you to hey it's your offer letter please 
take it note. Okay. Okay. So you, you have to just apply as uh -huh. soon as possible. The earlier okay. you apply, you, you, the sooner you get the feedback. So can you also tell me uh after this course where the students can work in 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 which companies uh, the alumni are already working and what are the opportunities after the course? Well, in this uh, after this course, you know, I mean, see, uh, to be honest, after this course, the company see sees your skills and you know your German fluency. Okay, mm -hmm. so it's not mandatory. You know, you you have this course, this brand university, this you know, I mean, yeah. uh, this uh, grades. They won't see that. Okay, what they see is your skills and your German fluency. Okay, uh -huh. I have seen people. You know, people uh, with. Uh, in the in this masters have a grade of 68 percent getting uh -huh. into you know daimler okay? okay so here what matters is your skills and mm -hmm. your general friends you, okay your, you know your, your boss won't ask you hey like uh i mean show me your grades show me yep. your, you know which uh which uh campus what are the rank <laughs> and so on okay right? true 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 so, yeah yeah they just see your skills if you have the skills mm -hmm. come into a company come into a team yeah right then lastly i mean th this was a right answer actually what you said because it, it doesn't matter from which university you study right. what are your grades or at the end it's the skills you know, your practical experience and overall a good german, german skill and I, I also believe having good uh, english skills yeah but I mean, overall like, as no, communication so... skills are important right for getting yeah, yeah, jobs and uh, management yeah. Yeah, also, you know, if you have the higher German skills, you have to, you know, chance to, you know, bargain for the salary. Okay, exactly. You have As a city, how good it is in terms of opportunities? Ah, what are the pros okay. and cons of staying in HOP? And also the pros That's and correct. cons of staying in this university in terms of batch size, in terms of students and everything. Yeah, that's quite, you know, interesting to ask, Kofran. I would say HOP, uh, I mean, campus is quite good. Uh -huh. The courses quite you know, excellent but cons is like you know i mean hof is a town you know it's not a big city don't expect much i mean my uh, you know uh it's my you, you know this suggestion to all the applicants who are coming in, in, in this upcoming intake or you know in the future intake to hof okay don't expect much okay mm -hmm. because hof is a small town it's a okay. village okay and uh, yes, uh, the the pathetic thing is how in half is like you know the transportation. After it, you won't get any buses. You if you wanna you know go to your you know home or if you have mm -hmm. you know uh, like case yep. uh, you have to run towards half or you know family issues or you, any issues you face you have to run to half. So you you have to take a taxi or by uh, by walk. Oh, so, okay. Yeah, after eight p.m. buses are. Right. Uh, and done. in yeah. terms of accommodation, is it expensive? Uh, accommodation, no. Uh, it's quite cheaper. I'm paying like, you know, uh, including everything is like around 350 Yeah. Okay. So it, yeah. It, on an average, a student can pay anywhere between yeah, yeah, yeah. 400 also, right? yeah. No, also, yeah. One more thing I, I just want to add, like, if you want peace, if you want to, you don't want to, you don't want that, you know, short raba, you don't want that noise in a in your ears it's better to come to half it's two piece okay okay but yeah don't expect much don't don't expect a, such a party life here okay so it's like yeah you just stay uh, here go to the campus and yep. come to the home and what about the companies in in half do students have to uh, move out companies i mean yeah here companies are there are mm -hmm. there but they need a i mean they need a german of either b2 or c1 okay yes and but yeah, I mean you know, uh, part time jobs and are, are here. I mean, are not there at all. So it's better to go to you know some other big city like you know Berlin, Frankfurt, all those big cities. Yeah. But in terms of odd jobs, you you have ample opportunities. Odd jobs, right? yeah, we have like you know this KFC, but you know uh, they don't have you know op open jobs every month. It depends. Okay. But you go to big cities like Frankfurt, Berlin, Stuttgart. There you, you will find every week, every day some job openings, right? Okay, but but the course yeah. is uh, offline, right? Yeah, yeah. So you yeah. Have to... I mean, if you talk about the course, it's fantastic. Okay, mm -hmm. so yes, uh, as I told you, uh, you get one year classroom yeah. program and one year complete internship where you just move out of off and you just do your internship anywhere in, in the world. Like, it's not okay. important that you do in Germany, in US, okay. Canada, Australia, anywhere. 
in terms of the final question in terms of the batch size and diversity uh, how good it is okay so yeah. i mean half is full of indians okay okay so in my course uh, you will find uh, i mean you know hardly 3 to 4% from abroad uh -huh. rest all indians and the batch size is how many people batch size you know due to 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 this aps uh, batch size had decreased earlier in last intake it was like uh the batch size was 800 okay uh -huh. for the entire Indian department 800 okay now it has decreased to you know 60 people only 60 so, so uh this 800 the number is coming from different courses right or different no courses. no it, it's uh, 800 like you know mbs three courses okay di O OEX and GMG. So okay, three courses. 800, yeah. Okay. Now, due to, due to this APS, it has decreased to, you know, just 45, uh, just 60 or... Yeah, Combining yeah. all three courses? Yeah. Oh, so that's a yeah. drastic decrease. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Because you do this APS, you, you know, like everything has got, you know, ev everything is gone. I mean, the application, I mean, the timeline is gone. APS is taking is now you know like six months so yes i mean yeah okay so, uh, earlier like half was getting two women and indians mm -hmm. now it has decreased a lot okay so uh sandipto i think we are close to the time and yeah, i course. would finally conclude I, I mean i still have many questions maybe we can do a separate podcast for for of course, specific of course, ones of course, of course. but uh as of today i have to conclude this yeah, so firstly yeah. thanks 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 a lot for coming sure. on You're the welcome. podcast thanks for sharing the genuine opinions and feedback of the course what what you felt are the good points and also the bad points uh, yeah. and finally we'll wait for the comments then what the students say and then <laughs> yeah, maybe yeah. we can do another video for that sure, but sure, thanks for course. the podcast thank you thanks Rufran. bye yeah. bye bye yeah.